Here's another pretty color. A, a 1962 Cadillac, 12,500. There's your, there's your information. Original interior. Matching color with the exterior. The seats match the exterior color. Could use a little freshening up, but it looks really cool. Really cool. Nineteen sixty six Ford Mustang. There's the contact information. My hubby loves a Mustang. And then, look at this. I love this. This is classic, isn't it? Now look at this. <laughs> the tail lights. There's for the fuel. Spare tire on the back. If you can see in there or not. Rear view mirror. <laughs> There's the contact information. It is for sale. My hubby would probably buy the Mustang and I would buy this right here. Yep. Even if I didn't drive it, just to have it. Would be so cool. Okay, this is a 1961 Holiday Coupe. What's the 98 for? I don't know. It's called an Oldsmobile 98. Oldsmobile 98. Okay, turquoise. Is that not a beautiful color? This is like one of our favorite color, colors that we both agree on, that this is one of our favorite colors, turquoise. I can get it just, and look at the, the inside matches. Yeah, the inside is turquoise. The windows are tinted the same way. Yeah, the windows are tinted like a turquoise color. And I've never seen a back window the that's rounded, tinted like that halfway down. Rounded windows. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oldsmobile. Yeah, anybody want to buy this for us? <laughs> This is just, this is our happy color right here. This is our happy color. It won a, it won a trophy. There's a trophy sitting in there. Look at this beautiful Impala. Look how clean that engine is. They haven't driven it, they just put it up and bring it to shows. Not sure if it's for sale or not. There is a number. A number in the window.
We just started walking after the rain and it's starting to sprinkle again. This is our happy color, turquoise. Yep, we just love this. It's gonna rain hard this time. We just love this. Look at this, this big old station wagon. See the seat back here? Again, I traveled in, the, in station wagons with my family. Not, not something this old, but yet this is a treasure. Route 66 from Indiana to California. I had grandparents in Indiana and grandparents in California, and we traveled back and forth to see them as a family of six. Mom and dad and four kids. Three girls and a boy. Isn't that a beauty? There's your contact information. 1963 GMC Suburban. And here comes my hero with the umbrella. Since you can't <laughs> seem to come in out of the rain. <laughs> yeah, the interior is just absolutely beautiful. It's just in beautiful condition. Turquoise. 44,000 miles on and only. And again, it's got the seat that faces the back. Yep, we used to ride like that and kids, remember? Yeah, yeah. And we survived. Steve Cable, the door is open on your classic car. It's a chop, 1955 Mercury, it said. 1950 Mercury. Look at that. We don't know where Steve is. But he's not worried about his car. Isn't it a beauty? That's some deep, deep paint. You can see way into it. Lots of lacquer. Gorgeous lines. Look at that skirting over that back tire. You ever get a flat? You are in trouble. Whew, look at that. Double antennas in the back for some reason. What a car. 1950 Mercury. And he has left the car door open, and this is a beautiful car. Beautiful. Take a look at this. Ooh, before he starts that motor, you won't hear a word I have to say. 1956 Nomad. Back it up. Back it up. And here's a 1956 Nomad. Bel Air. The lines in the roof. Gorgeous. Now here's somebody with some black truck getting it started. Beautiful. Look at this Nomad. Wow. Gorgeous, straight down windows. Beautiful dashboard. Oh, and we got a trophy. Woohoo! Rod Run Fall 2020 trophy. What'd you get your trophy for? How clean or? Ugliest owner. Ugliest owner. That trophy won't even fit in the car. Oh! oh my God, that was <laughs> my, I've heard there's different types of trophies, like the best this or the best that or the most original. Just a, just a trophy? 
Well, they, oh, have, reckon promote, they have promoter's choice, and then they have a top 25, and then they have an ultimate five. Okay. This is a 1955, and it gets great gas mileage. <laughs> There's nothing there. No engine. <laughs> but if you want to fix this vehicle up and put it, get an engine and put it in there. There's your some information. Nineteen fifty seven Chevrolet two door sedan. There's your contact information. Some of these vehicles that are going by are kind of loud. It's hard <laughs> hard to hear me talking. Anyway, isn't this classic? Look at the look at that hood. This sedan. Now I would paint it a different color. I'm not into black cars. But um, really cool classic vehicle. Uh, I really like these old vehicles and um, Look at those fins there. Really cool. That's what they call it, this Mac. And your grandmother's name was Mac. Michael Duff. Michael Duff, everybody called her Ms. Mac. Ms. Mac. So Ms. Mac bought this car. Brand new in 1952. Brand new, 1952. Dixon Ford, Belmont. I got the bill of sale and everything. Bill of sale and everything. Ah. Look at those lines. That's always what amazes me is those lines running down the car. I Just know. gorgeous. Back then, every year you can tell the difference. Now you can't. Ah, beautiful. Ms. Mack bought this car brand new. 1952. <laughs> Got a 435 horse coyote motor. V8 custom line. That must, was that uh, just this little V8 custom line thing must be a rare find. Oh, we're gonna get a tour. Oh well, now that's not Grandma's engine. That ain't the flathead. <laughs> <laughs> no. So it had a flathead V8 in it. it is, now it I has. Still got it. And you still got it. I got it in the transmission. Well, we've changed it out for something a little more efficient. Uh, a little less trouble. 435 horsepower. And a good old moonshine bottle right That's, there. That's uh, the windshield washer. That's actually original. That is the original. It's got a pump in there, a foot pump. You pump it, it pumps uh, fluid up to your. This foot. is an original. Right the, the original yep. windshield washer, and it's not electric. There is a foot pump the inside the car. That pumps the windshield washer fluid up. A little pump on the floor. A little pump on the floor. Outstanding. Well, Miss Max, she One sure did a job. Things were a lot simpler back then. Yep. I think my dad had a Ford with a big circle in the center right there. That 49, used to be. 49 to 54. They were trying to make it look like a jet engine or something. <sighs> Did the original thing hold up, or is this a new one? That's a new, but it's a remake of the original. Yeah. My goodness, they made some spaghetti to get that exhaust pipe out of there. Yeah, they had time making Oh, look at that. Nineteen fifty-two. Never in an accident. No. She bought this fender going in the garage. Bump the fender one and day. And I bought a new fender, new old stock fender in Charlotte 25 years ago. And when we redid it, I just put that fender on. <laughs> As you can see back then, no headrests. Easy to get the whiplash. Beautiful. Well, thank you, sir. Was that the original 
Cluster too? Uh, it's the original shape, but not the gauge. The gauges are replaced, but it's the original design. And the wheel looks original. Uh, no. No, I didn't I guess right on that either. Original cut down to 1956. One family owned original. Only 24,000 miles. Updated wheels and brakes. Look at that. Woo. Look at that bumper. Six cylinder. That's the way they came, people. Except for the tires. Beautiful. And here is the interior. All original. No gauges, speedometer, hard as a rock dashboard to, for your forehead, gigantic wheel. Look at those lines. Look at that roof. This is an heirloom looking for a new heir. Rear engine VW camper bus. It's the last thing I get on here. Look at that. A little rusty. This is air cooled. This thing would even run after a uh, EMP. Extra speakers. It's for sale, too. There's your phone number. 1972 Camper. 16,000. Be worth 100,000. Of all electronics get fried. There's your information. Only sixteen thousand dollars for this '54 Buick 322 Nailhead. I don't think that's the right price. That's crazy. These things aren't usually that cheap. But look at that beautiful three side pipes, the perfect Buick special, and the dip I told you about. That's the baby. Now why it would only be 16,000, maybe it was towed here, but it does say 16,000. Jim's toy, a 55. Look at that. Beautiful Bel Air. Updated front disc brakes. Look at that. Well, I've lost the light. I don't know if it's worth it or not, but that's an original fair lane right there. Well, here's a Chevrolet away from the crowd in a church parking lot with enough light to record. Updated brakes. Updated engine. Aluminum radiator. Look at that. I see too much on this side. Let's see if we can get a little bit of the interior. Ah, look at that. Beautiful. Please subscribe, like, leave a nice comment, and share our video. And hit the bell button for notifications. Thank you so much for watching.